You know it when you hear it. Flamenco guitar is magical regardless of your musical tastes. Emotional, complicated, and unique. There's a lot of technique in the strumming and picking. Rob breaks this down so even a beginner can learn the concepts, then finishes the course with inspirational demonstrations of full songs for you to practice and learn. Let's take a look. Okay, we're in the app. So let's go into courses and search for flamenco guitar, or probably just flamenco will get it. Right there, we'll go into the course and let's take a look at the flamenco techniques. Um, the technique most identified with flamenco, and that is the rasqueado. Okay, that's this. Okay. So there's different types of rasqueado. So just a quick demonstration there. Uh, to show one of the many techniques of flamenco and he goes into lots of details about how to play that very specifically it's hard it takes muscle memory it takes calluses it takes finger strength so let's skip ahead in the video to about 340. One. So it looks easy enough. I'll make a comment here. For the life of me, I cannot get my my fingers to come back when I do the index finger out. It's so crazy. I will have to practice this so much, but Rob walks you through the details of how to practice, and it's really good. So moving on, let's go to down to compass. And here we get into some more playing, uh, the chord positions for the two of the traditional playing styles of flamenco. Por medio, okay. Por arriba is basically the same, but now in a different position. Okay, we have A minor, G, and I have an F, and I also do not bar the F, so I have the B and the E string open. Okay, so it's really important before you move on to the next exercise that you can... So what he's done here is identified the style por arriba, which is one of the two, two key flamenco chording positions, and then walks you through the associated chords. Fred Zellett helped by lighting up his f finger positions along with his explanations of important nuances like the F chord, having, um, he was not barring his F chord, he was playing the last two B and E strings open. So really interesting chord techniques here, and he of course walks through it in detail. Let's skip on to uh, one of the fundamentals here. So, to the next compass and keep playing, okay? So once again, exercise one, and I'll play it now in a loop. How cool is that? He then goes on to explain everything, of course, but you can see just how much the LEDs help you identify finger positions and the concepts behind the chord progression and the arpeggio combination. So let's move on to an actual full song just to show what your end goal is here. So this would be under pieces. One. I'm going to interrupt real quick here just to show you that this is representing a capo. So there's not something crazy going on here with your hands. You have to put a capo on this fret. So there we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
he's only partway through this. It's a three minute song. This is your goal. I found myself watching this video a few times just in awe. So many techniques coming together in into a beautiful performance. The whole course has nearly four hours of video, so there's a lot going on. We've only scratched the surface here. Only one thing left to do now, and that is practice. Lots of practice. I've got to get that rascato finger technique down. Have fun and enjoy.